today I thought I'd do a video on uh, summertime and snakes are on the move. You know, they've woken up, they're out and about, it's hot, they're active, they're hungry, they're seeking water, shade, etc. So there's every possibility you're going to bump into one, whether it be in your backyard or out and about. It, um, it it can happen so you know I just want to give some safety tips on what you can do and so forth so pretty much guys you know you come up against a snake in your backyard don't touch it don't go near it unless you're an expert and you specifically know what species you're dealing with python don't touch it there is every possibility you'll get bitten of course, you will not die from that bite, but you don't want to be bitten either. Or it could be venomous. Then we're talking a whole different level. So, you know, there are people out there that are available to come and get that snake for you. And I will put some links in for people who live locally to me who can click on those, take the phone numbers, pin them up close to the phone you do not know when you're going to need it so it would be handy to have it close to your telephone so don't touch the snake don't go near the snake get your kids get your animals and bring them inside to keep them safe both the snake and your your kids and your animals. Now I'll go a little bit into, you know, being bitten. You know, you get bitten by a python, it'll hurt a little bit, depending on, of course, the size of the python. But uh, basically, it's not as big a deal as what a lot of people actually do think that it is. So you will end up with you know, some teeth, marks, and a lot of blood. And that's only because these guys actually have an anticoagulant agent and you will bleed. Go and wash it and you'll find it's, it's nothing really. You can put a little bit of disinfectant on it and you should be, you should be doing pretty good. Of course, if it's a bigger snake and you've panicked and you've tried to rip the thing off, it could be a whole different story and that goes for whether they've just tagged you and let go as a defensive bite or if they've grabbed you as a feeding response which is a which is a darn bite that will hurt so of course you come to your venomous snakes and yeah we're on a completely different level guys and you must have a compression bandage in your cupboard at this time of the year in case of this happening. So basically if you get bitten by a venomous snake, get your compression bandage. If you're bitten on the arm, and it's generally the hand, the arm, the lower portion of your legs, you wrap the compression bandage from the tips of those fingers and as far up as you can possibly go up your arm and you do it relatively tight. On your leg, wherever you were bitten, you start that compression bandage from where you were bitten and you go up. The same thing as tight, really quite tight and then call the paramedics immediately and get them on their way and try and keep that person as calm as you possibly can under those circumstances. Also try and get a photo of that snake if, if you've been quick enough to do so. Um, otherwise, you know, and, and I can say this, but in the moment you don't even think about it, but it really is um, quite a not essential but it would really help the paramedics, the doctor and so forth to know exactly what it is and what venom they're dealing with. You know, the, the red belly 
um, black snakes. You know, the venom, you know, they've got venom, but it is nowhere near the level of a, a taipan or a, a brown copperhead. You know, it even sometimes now, you they don't even require anti-venom for a red belly black snake. So if you do get bitten by one, um, as much as it's not going to be pleasant, uh, you will still uh, understand or try and understand if you're going to get bitten by a venomous snake, that's the one to get bitten by, guys. Don't get bitten at all. And get onto your snake catcher to come and remove it. Try and keep your eye on that snake too because they get out there and you've walked away and you've gone off and that snake has totally disappeared and you don't know where it is. So, good idea to keep your eye on it and so the snake catcher can actually grab it. And on one of these sites there's actually a, a upload where you can, it's a form, and then you can send back with a photo and they can actually ID that particular snake and it's good for their catalogue to know what's coming into suburban homes and what is actually out and about and on the move at this particular point in time. It's, it's, it's great for you to do. And they've also got a catalogue of snakes anyway. So by going through that, you may be able to find out. Something will trigger when you see a photo. That was the snake. That information is really important. So it's all well and good for me to say. Uh, it's another thing to actually be able to have the memory in the moment. You just panicked and you're worried and terrified. So guys, it's just a little bit on, you know, our snakes that are on the move and, and pretty much what to do if you come up against one. You know, I've had a, a, a coastal carpet python live in my roof. Comes and goes and comes and goes and comes and goes. I know it's there and I'm, I'm okay with it. So... Of course, a lot of people wouldn't be. But a snake catcher will actually come and take that snake to an unpopulated area where that snake's going to be safe, and so are we. So please call the snake catcher. Don't grab the shovel. Get away from the snake. If you're terrified to that degree, don't stand and see where it's going. Put yourself inside and make the phone calls. So I hope that this video sort of helps you a little bit, especially the first aid, that compression bandage, emergency numbers, and just knowing what to do. So guys, I've got Lily, I think, who will be going home now. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share, favorite. Bye guys.